I worked for a company at an established startup that had a decent-sized analytics team. Of a company of about 400, there was a team of three data engineers, two data analysts, and four data scientists. They were big on being cutting edge, so it was pretty heavy on the data science. Most of the time, the analysts were absolutely slammed. Tons of report requests, ad hoc questions to answer, and presentations to executives. As engineers, we were constantly supporting them by ingesting new data sources, analytical modeling, pipeline challenges, and general data cleanup. And sometimes it was just helping with the dashboards or covering while they were out. Meanwhile, the data scientists, honestly, after two years, I'm not sure they ever delivered anything at all. They went to a lot of meetings to talk about cool data science stuff, and they did also get their share of ad hoc questions that was mostly analytics type of work. But the reality was the company just had a lot of descriptive analytics needs. People had questions and they just wanted answers. There was just very little need for machine learning or the types of things that most data scientists want to work on. And I don't mean this as an insult to data scientists. The most common thing you see is I'm a data scientist, but I spend all my time doing blank, either data engineering or analytics or something that they don't consider data science. So I don't think it's a crazy observation that the company probably would have been better off with four analysts and two data scientists. And that's something I've seen more of lately in the AI gold rush. Everyone is screaming that you need your own LLM, your own AI solution. It reminds me of when big data was the buzzword and everyone needed to harness the power of their big data. When in reality, most companies don't have that volume of data. Or remember the blockchain obsession of like, two years ago, where everyone needed a distributed app. Though I'm not saying AI is going to completely disappear like that. It's definitely going to be something that integrates into many, many products. And of course, I'm not talking about tech companies. If your product line is somewhere that LLMs can enhance, then yeah, it's going to be a priority. But if you're a bank, you probably need to be focused on banking stuff and use the AI tools that your tech providers produce and integrate into your platforms. And that's what people seem to forget. They focus on what Google, Microsoft, and whatever your favorite tech company is, are up to. They forget that the vast majority of people work in other industries. The reason I think this is important is it drives the conversations of where will data engineering be in five years? Or should I get into data engineering or analytics engineering? Or what job pays the best? The hype is behind the machine learning side, but the demand is still in the analytics realm. And the reason is simple. Every company needs analytics. From Walmart down to your dentist, every business has some need to review their data. And if it's done well, it's really easy to get value and actionable information out of your analytics. Plus, companies can scale it dramatically. They can start with one analyst armed with Excel and grow that into a full analytics department with architects, engineers, DevOps, product owners. If you're building a team from scratch and ask me without knowing your business at all, I could pretty confidently say you should hire a competent analyst first and know you'll get something out of it. While comparatively, only a handful of companies have a product that needs data science and machine learning. So building out a data science, ML, or AI team without a product plan in place tends to just be a waste of money. Or you end up with data scientists doing more analytics work that they just aren't interested in and they might have a misaligned skill set. So what does that mean for us? If your drive is to get into tech companies or you really love machine learning, then go ahead and chase that dream. There's definitely career potential there. Just know that the companies and openings will be limited or there may be a lot of jobs that have bought into the hype and they feel they must have their own LLM, but they won't have a realistic plan or way to execute on that. And the job may be unstable or you might be given work to do that you didn't sign up for. You'll need to do a lot more work researching the company and questioning the interviewers to know if it's really what you're looking for. Alternatively, if you're just looking for a good job with high demand that has the potential to pay well, remember that analytics and business intelligence will still be the most important data objective for every company. Of course, people will counter that LLMs will make analytics professionals obsolete. And sure, AI is probably going to kill all of our jobs and redefine what work is in the long term. And we'll figure that out when we get there. But for now, we've had Google search for 20 years and people still ask questions that could be solved in 10 seconds. People don't know the difference between saving as in .xls and .csv. I know someone who has to join a webinar to click the start button because the person running it can't handle that level of technical skill. Even if LLMs become fully capable tomorrow, it will take a lot longer for the human models to be trained to use it efficiently. 
So I believe there are still going to be demand for analytics teams to answer questions that people may be able to solve themselves. And I don't just mean the data analyst role, I mean full team that supports an analytics operation, the platforms that are geared more towards analytics than data science. For instance, as a data engineer, you might wonder if you should focus learning skills more used in AI or skills more used by analytics. I talked about this divide in the data engineering community in this video, so be sure to check it out to understand the career paths available.